Okay. Listen. Yesterday we talked about making accommodation arrangement, like you can see confirm confirmation, advanced booking, book in advance, pay in advance, pay deposit, a part of price, okay, pay a deposit, and pay the balance, it means the remaining part of the money. So if someone says that there is no vacancies, it means that all the rooms are fully booked. So that's called no room free. It means no vacancy. So these are these are the expressions we talked about yesterday. So today we are going to go with something else that's called discussing faults and problems with accommodation. Okay, right? Yes, sir. Hmm. You know what is what is fault? Discussing faults and problems. Problems. Okay. Let's see what is what what does the word fault mean? Do you know what is the fault means? Fault. Hmm? No, sir. No, you don't know. No, sir. Fault means, fault means complain. You know what is complain? Mistake. Complaining. Yes. yes sir. Or defect. You know what is defect is also something very good. Or faulty. Okay. Um, okay. Let's see. So now, for example, yesterday you checked in a hotel. You went to the hotel. And now we will see that what kind of problem you will, you will face in a hotel. Look, if you're if you're if you're living in a hotel for a couple of days, do you know what kind of problems are there? Or what kind of problems you'll face? Okay. For example, we can say that okay, there is something, there is something wrong with the TV. Okay, you check in the hotel. You you. you uh, you you enter the hotel and you want to turn on the TV. When you turn on the TV, it doesn't work. So it means that there is a problem. There is something wrong with the TV or there's a problem with the TV. Why? Because it doesn't work properly. It's not working, right? So the TV is, so it doesn't work properly. So the TV doesn't work. So you know what, what now? Do you know what is what is what is the problem of the TV? So it is faulty. Now, if something has a problem and it's not working properly, it is faulty. Right? Okay. Can you hear yes, me? Yes, sir. Yes or no? Yes, sir. Okay. Yes, sir. Very good. Okay, let's see. Now you so you you, you take your key and you open the door and you realize that there is a mess in the hotel room. It means that uh, the, the, the room is very dirty, okay? If the room is dirty, so what will you do now? It's a hotel. Hmm? Complain. Exactly, yes. You go to the front desk, you go to the front desk and complain. What, what is complain? Huh? Is it, is it mean something that you're not satisfied with the result? So that's why you're complaining. Okay? Yes, sir. Very good. That's right. So you complain. The word is here complain. So we studied here the word faulty. And also now we, we studied the word complain. So why, why do you complain? Because the room is dirty. So another word is dirty, faulty, and, and complain. Okay, okay. So now, for example, for example, suppose that there is, the, suppose that the room is very hot and you want to turn on the AC and you're searching for the remote control remote but you can't find it so so what happened with so what happened with the remote hmm? can i say can i say that the remote is working huh? 
Huh? Very good. The remote is missing. Missing. Yes. Hmm? It means that when you can't find the remote, it means that the remote is missing. Okay. Right. So the remote is missing. Sometimes when you check in a hotel, you see, realize that, oh my God, the remote is missing. Okay. So, and then, then you want to turn on the light. So when you when you want to when you want to turn the on the light and you realize that that the light switch light switch is broken. So if the if the switch is broken, so it means that it is damaged. It is what? Hmm? It is damaged. Yes, exactly. So damage it means something broken, which is not working. Okay, broken it means what? It means damage. So that is why that is that is why today we are going to work with the with the faults and problems in a hotel. Now look if uh, listen if the switch is broken. What do you think? Is it dangerous or not dangerous? It is dangerous. Yes, exactly. Yeah. So can I say that so broken switch? Okay, broken, broken switch or unsafe. Can I say unsafe? Dangerous? Yes, yes sir. Yeah, very good. So the word unsafe is, it means that it is something is dangerous. Fantastic. Okay. So now you want to lie on the bed. Now, okay, you sit on the bed. And you and the bed, you feel that the bed is really hard. You know what is really hard? Hmm? Yes. Sir. Yeah. What is really hard? What is hard? Something hard. not soft, right? Hard something soft. Yes. Yes. So can I say? Can I say that the bed is the bed is uncomfortable? Yes, sir. Yeah. The bed is uncomfortable. It means that. The bed is hard, or it is not. It is not soft, because most of the time when you sit on the bed, you feel that the bed is very good. The bed is soft, but now you see that. And you see that it is now uncomfortable. It is very hard. Okay, so sometimes you go to the room. So what we said, let's let's cover this. Uh, we studied uh, discussing faults and problems, right? So there is something wrong with the TV. So the TV is faulty because it doesn't work properly. If uh, if the room is dirty, then you go to the front desk and complain. If you can't find the remote, it means that the remote is missing. If the lights are if the light switch is broken, then it's damaged. Uh, uh, so the damage, uh, you know, the broken switches are usually unsafe, which is very dangerous. And if the bed is hard, the bed is uncomfortable.